Hey everyone, what is going on? It is Colin C back from the Crypto Boys. And guess what? We got a Sunday wrap up for you today. And uh, I want to talk all things Binance. Yeah, I got a couple little things to get out of the way here, but I want to talk all things Binance. In my opinion of this, we've been getting a lot of comments of like, what's going on with Binance? What is happening? What's been happening? All this stuff, are they going under? You know, are they going to stop trading, delist trading in the US? Why are all these people attacking them? Let's let's just let's cut to the chase. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of it all. It's probably gonna take up the majority of the five minutes. I do want to let you guys know that we go live every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. We will be gone this next week, but Joe and I will try to get in front of the camera as much as we possibly can. And that's pretty much all I got. Let's get into this Binance thing. All right, here we go. Two things are certain in the crypto space. Well, really in life in general. Number one is gonna be taxes. You're gonna be paying taxes regardless of what even when you die, you're paying taxes. The second thing is FUD against Binance. That's just that's just the way it is, okay? You got taxes and FUD against Binance. That's one and two. Um, here's the thing, guys. Really, uh, think about when all this Binance FUD and all this stuff started to happen. After the collapse of FTX, right? It happened after the collapse of FTX when really people started to come in after Binance, the regulators, I mean, the crypto, uh, you know, haters out there, these big media uh, personalities, the companies, you got uh, stupid-ass Kevin O'Leary coming after them. Think about this. Now what just happened recently is the BUSD, the Paxos, FUD, all that stuff, which I think will be wrapped up pretty soon. I really I really don't know. I mean, maybe a fine. I, I don't exactly know, but I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. Remember, do, do you guys see how many banks got fined last year and no one, no one heard about it? No one heard about it, but every bank every year gets fined because they don't know the rules and they're willing to do whatever they're willing to do, pay the fine and then move on, okay? Whatever, that's fine. So next up, we've got our trading fees. So they've got zero trading fees on Binance with, you know, Bitcoin to BUSD. So I don't know what they're talking about with this whole Paxa, Paxos in the, the, the fees against it. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but who knows? I think it could be wrapped up pretty soon. Next, BUSD lost almost $3 billion, almost $3 billion in market cap, and they're still rolling. They're not stopping. They're still rolling. That should make you at least feel good and feel feel comfortable in, in some way. I know it does us, but again, not your keys, not your wallet. You shouldn't have your stuff on exchanges anyways. Next up, number two that's been really pissing me off is Kevin O'Leary. Because Kevin O'Leary, when he got caught being really, really stupid with SBF and uh, making some really bad calls, and then when SBF basically crushed the entire crypto market and a lot of wallets and a lot of other people's money and all that stuff, Kevin O'Leary came out and almost defended this guy and then starts shedding light and throwing, you know, shade at CZ. When CZ's only been, you know, right in the space, he's only, you know, made things correct. He's ran a good business. He hasn't taken people's money. He hasn't lied about it. He has, he's given his word and done exactly what he's going to say. But then you got stupid Kevin O'Leary. He has no idea what he's talking about. Then starts saying stuff about CZ. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So watch out when people like that are going to say that. Next up is you got this BNB, right? Here's the thing. They have the third most TVL. So, I mean, that's pretty legit. The top 10 wallets of BNB, and this is one thing Kevin O'Leary said. They're like, oh, you know, 80% of whatever of BNB tokens are held by two wallets. Well, that is completely 100% false. 42%, it's like 10, the top 10 wallets hold 42%. And several of those wallets are crypto exchange wallets holding mine and your tokens. So just stop, stop listening to all the FUD. My opinion, they're completely fine. But again, you should be getting off. You should 100% be getting off exchanges. And you guys know that, okay? Next up, this Bloomberg article. Oh my gosh, like stop it. I'm sorry, you're probably dizzy now, but I, it, it, it's, just, it's just so stupid. It pisses me. I don't even have words for it. Absolute garbage. So CZ then denies it right away, saying that they're going to delist everything in the US and you know Binance is going through this and going through that. Here's my question to you, and here's what I'm going to leave you all with, okay? And this is the most important part. Who is coming after Binance? Who's worried? Well, what does Binance or CZ have on somebody? He's got some dirt, or someone's got some dirt on one of them, and they're clearly, they're, they've got a big player in the space. Is it SBF? Is it the FTX? I mean, are they, did they do something they shouldn't have done, and Binance has, you know, kind of this ace in the hole type of thing? I don't know, but I want to know from you guys. Put it down in the comments below because I am so sick and so tired of hearing this Binance FUD. And I just want this dang thing to go through for all my Voyager people out there and all that stuff. Like, stop spreading FUD about Binance. They've always been fine. They're going to be fine. And I personally just don't think there's anything to worry about. But either way, if there is, we'll keep you updated five minutes or less. We appreciate you rocking with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube. I'm out.